Hello my friends, how are you doing today? I hope you are fine. Welcome to Vlog here, Rodrigo from Brazil. Today we're gonna understand how the healthcare system works here in Brazil. Here in Brazil, we have the public healthcare system, which is called uh, SUS, SUS, translate, translation to Unify Health System. This system is a right guaranteed by federal constitution and doesn't depend of, on nationality or possession of Brazilian documents. In other words, a foreigner here in Brazil uh, even without documents, even illegally, has the right to use public health care services in emergency situations. This foreigner must be tra treated without having to pay anything, include uh, calling an ambulance because if they are not treated, it's considered a crime, so, so all people need to have this threat. So, however, uh, despite foreigners being able to receive emergency care, the Unify healthcare system mm, still faces numerous problems, uh, which also apply to all people in need of care include Brazilians. <laughs> so, um, these problems include uh, inadequate, inadequate uh, funding, shortage, shortage of necessary materials in some hospitals, a uh, lack of healthcare professionals and regional inequalities, meaning that in some places in Brazil, uh, access to healthcare is quite limi limited. limited. Uh, but in Sao Paulo, here in Sao Paulo city, it's a different story. Here you can find hospitals and emergency rooms in everywhere, everywhere. And some of the best hospitals in Brazil are located here in Sao Paulo. Uh, one top of all this, some facilities are quite precarious and the wait time can be very long. You can wait for hours and hours for medical attention. It's, it's here, it's a problem here in Brazil. Uh, for Brazilians and foreigners with Brazilian residents or documents, you can receive medical care for anything, from emergencies to simple medical consultations for things like headache, flu, or common cold. And individuals can also undergo surgeries and medical treatments, uh, obtain medication and all necessary procedures for free without having to pay anything for it. Uh, so I, I Rodrigo, recommend, recommend to those of you who come to visit Brazil, get health insurance just in case you need medical attention and wanna use, you wanna go see the doctor in private health care system. I recommend you you go to the private healthcare system. So speaking of private healthcare, we have uh, health insurance plans here, which uh, provide access to private hospitals. Uh, you pay a monthly fee to the health insurance providers and can use any private hospitals, paying only the monthly fee. So, so, you pay the monthly fee and have access to medical care, surg surgeries and medical treatment, treatments 
all covered by that monthly fee without any additional costs. The only thing health insurance plans uh, don't cover is medications, is the medicines. If the doctor uh, prescribes any medications, you need to buy it at the pharmacy or if that medication is available in the public healthcare system, you can get it for free. So even if you have a consultation at a private clinic, you can still get medication for free if it's available in the public healthcare network. So you can take this medication for free. And that's it, friends. Uh, I can make a video later talking about the costs of health insurance and plans in Brazil because they vary greatly from provider to provider and also vary a lot, a lot depending on the person's age. In summary, summary, yeah. Uh, younger individuals pay less and older individuals pay more for the same, same plane. There are also providers that offer the options to use better hospitals for a higher monthly free regardless or of weight, regardless of age. But that's a topic for another video. If you want to know the costs, Costs, just comment here and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions feel free to comment here I hope you understood you got this idea about this this plans about the public health in Brazil and private health in Brazil that are uh, this private system obviously it's better than public system but in private you have to pay public you don't have to pay so for a scan and use it the public healthcare system just in emergency situations but uh, if this foreigner if he has uh, documents if he has residence here uh, he can use this also all public systems just oh, I'm a headache oh I, I will see the doctor you know and that's it friends if you have any questions comment here I hope you enjoyed this video click on like and that's it bye